Hi, I'm Tom Russell here with Furniture Today, and we're here at Nero Lupo. Uh, we're here at the table with Fernando Rodero, Alex Rodriguez, Hector Manzano, and Tom Halas with Urban Ro owner, owner of Urban Roads. Uh, I want to thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to be with us today, inviting Furniture Today to your factory. It's been a really uh, great opportunity for us, and, and we've seen a lot this morning in all three facilities here on campus. Um, you've got a, a, a seemed like a tremendous workforce, um, 700 workers, I believe you said, here on this location. You're going to have about 100 more with your new startup upholstery operation that begins production around April. Early part of April. As well. So, You've done solid wood furniture for years with Brazilian pine, Mexican pine, your specialty. Um, and, but now you're gonna have almost a whole home story. Sounds like That's a great idea. Tell us a little bit about that opportunity. Okay, the idea from us is to make something different in the market. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do is to, to increase detail in our furniture. First of all, if we have a, a, a upholstery, we want to have an upholstery that match with a cocktail table or match with another a furniture. Mm -hmm. So we can make sets of all the furniture that you want. So how can I say you? My upholstery will match always with all my different furniture. Yes. Thinking in finishing. My upholstery will have finish in the, in the bottom, some sides, whatever and it will have the same finish that we have yes. in, our, in our furniture. And you've got a real industry expert and veteran who's going to be helping head that up. Tell us a little bit about that, Tom. That's correct. About uh, a little more than five and a half months ago, uh, I had um, the pleasure of bringing Randy Spack on, mm. who has somewhere around 40 years of upholstery expertise. Not too shabby. Not too bad. And not only that, but a true... <laughs> nice person yes if he fits this mold yes yeah. and we're very excited so you're going to be showing some upholstery at the uh, market you'll have some pieces that's correct we will it will be a full-fledged upholstery occasional accent bedroom dining room collection for each group i think this seems like a very unique model for mexico I, right now, I don't believe anyone else even comes close to that model. Mm. I, don't, uh, I don't know of any other factory that can also build the upholstery that matches the occasional tables mm -hmm. and have a sophisticated finish to go with it. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're very excited right now. I bet. It sounds like we're talking about the importance of being a solution to retailers. And it um, sounds like you've done that over the years on the wood side, but now on the upholstery side, you're going to be able to do that too. This has been a long evolution. There's been a lot of ideas. It takes a long time and a lot of work to do something like this. Yeah. But the partnership between Urban Roads and Nero Lupo is um, it's a family partnership. Mm -hmm. um, I care for them very much. They care for Urban Roads very much. Yes. And it just makes sense. Yes. So this is a, also a very interesting time. Um, now, Urban Roads is about five years. How, how many years? It started uh, in the spring of uh, 2015. Okay. So coming up then on about five years. About five years. Um, how, why, why Mexico? What's, what's been so important about um, Mexico for, for you all? Uh, I have been um, um, having furniture made in Mexico for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, but then um, the wood portion was what we wanted to create and mm -hmm. the ability to get it to the market quickly yes. made a lot of sense. Uh, and so the development of that was really how, how quickly can we get it to the market mm -hmm. and the partnership really just fell into place very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it's, it's a unique opportunity and, I, and it's going to be more and more and more. Uh, Mexico is a very good partner to the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bordering Yes. Country, and so you're basically talking about trucks to your customers instead of a container over the water. Yes. So the lead times are much different. Can yes. you can you in just general terms tell us a little bit about how? Um, obviously, that's a key advantage. We're about seventy five percent faster. Okay. Very good. Very good. 
Um, now, Fernando, tell us a little bit about um, when you started in 1995. Yep. How did you get recognition in the U.S. market? How, how did you get exposure? Because you started selling to the U.S. basically almost an, immediately. Yeah, the real truth, in, in 95, 96, I was in the post through line. That's the truth. Oh. But the demand of the market makes me go to the line of, of solid furniture pine. Mm -hmm. Why? There was a, the rustic furniture was in, in, in hot in the market, and the market need from us. Yeah. So when we try to find something to do for USA, we begin to run with a post and say, we don't need a post tree. We need uh, solid pine solid furniture. Wood, solid and we wood. say, we can do it. Did you show at Guadalajara or did you show I show in, in Guadalajara, I show in, uh, in, in in High Point, in Vegas. Oh, so you came, so you, in other words, you, you got your exposure yeah, from these yeah, different yeah. trade shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. And, and, and I begin you, when you, another, like, there, was, there were another companies in 96, yes. big, big companies that we begin to run the, the, the rusting with them. I see. Uh, for five, six years. Uh, yeah. How do you call it? Bell Industries. Bell Okay. Be Bell Bell Wood. Wood. Remember yeah. Bell? Yeah. Bell, Bell. Bell? Bell? Bell, Philip Bell, yes. That was, the, that was that rustic phase. Yes. Remember that yes. was the furniture that if you walked by with a lit cigarette, you were going to the burn ward? Yeah. <laughs> yes. That was a little before my time, yeah. but I know yeah. you're talking yeah. about. So, um, mm -hmm. I moved a lot. So, I began producing upholstery, then I went to the pine furniture, yes. then the, mar the market moves to China, yes. so we need to do something dif dif different. Mm -hmm. We went to hotels, we, we make marriage, oh, okay. complete hotels, construction, mm -hmm. sure. kitchens, doors, whatever. Oh, okay, so you diversify. Are, uh, yeah, and also the, oh. the national market, we work in the whole national market mm -hmm. with a very, very different furniture. You see, very, yes. very contemporary line, yeah. and everything is, is, uh, uh, is not solid pine, it's, uh, it's lumber. Oh, not lumber, lumber, uh, plywood, uh, MDF, yeah, MDF, yeah, veneers. MDF. So see, we we have been in, in in all in all the markets of yes. global furniture. So when China became more of a competitor for, we're talking like the late nineties, um, early two thousands. In, in two thousand oh oh three, the movement was was very very strong. Very quickly, so yeah. They, they, we cut because China was really rich really for us. We can't do the, the the furniture that China was doing for the price they, they I see, they I see. Giving. So need, we need to survive, so we move the diverse, market. Yes, I see. When did you start getting back into the residential furniture market um, for the U.S.? When did you When did you start to gain back some of your no, competitors? In, in the case of uh, hotels and, and residential, it's just in Mexico. Okay. And I don't make it in the U.S.A. Mm -hmm. in, in a lot of cities, Mexico yes. City, in Pachuca, we make about Easy, 12, 15 hotels. I see. Hotels, bedrooms, dinings, everything from the hotel. Okay. So b before you started working with um, Urban Roads, did you have some customers, um, I, I used OEM to have, customers or I have direct retail? Yeah, I have another American customers, mm -hmm. but I have a lot of demand in the national market. Deco, oh. maybe it's a huge company, it has about 300 stores in the, in, in, in the center of Mexico. Oh, I it see. Was a big so a big domestic market for Very, you yeah, then. Big, so yeah, I see. And then the market begins to give us, a shift. Uh, we begin to move our production yes. to that solid pine furniture, and then we yes. run multi 90, 95% of our production now is for you. Now to the USA, I see. So how heavy were you in Mexico before? Was it like 90% in Mexico before? Yeah, easy, 90, the, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. And so also the volume. Five years ago, when we begin to run the, 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 the factory from, from, US, from yes. USA, we don't have the same volume that we have in this moment. I see. We begin to grow from five years ago. I see. A lot. <laughs> oh, good. Maybe 100% each year. Yes. Supposed to knock on wood right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> yes, well, maybe not, but maybe, I don't know. Um, but no, that's good. That's very interesting. Um, so, what would you say is your greatest. Uh, of course, it's not as much China on the wood side now. There's still some wood there, obviously. It's more Vietnam. Correct. Mm -hmm. And how, I mean, how well uh, is Nero Lupo positioned to compete with Vietnam, Malaysia? Um, again, it seems like you have a niche. When we create Nero Lupo for the American market, what we try to do is do always something different. Yes. We, we, like, we have passion for furniture. We love to do what we do. We love what we do, yeah. and we try to, to agree something special to our furniture. Mm -hmm. And that's why we 
love the finishes. You, maybe yeah. you can see in the finish line. Oh, yeah. We love to do something totally different mm -hmm. on the market. Mm -hmm. We don't want to compete with them or, or to be or to do what they do. Mm -hmm. We we like to have our own our own passion, our own, our our own art. Yes, yes, indeed. Can you tell us a little bit about where you fall price wise, or, or Tom, perhaps you could address this in a way that doesn't reveal some of your. I can uh, tell you, we're very competitive with Vietnam. I know, based on what you just told me, we're very competitive. And um, uh, another thing is, you asked about Vietnam compared to Miralupo scale. Scale, and yes, good point. So if you take some of our larger scaled items and you put them into a 40-foot container, mm -hmm. the freight would really tilt it towards our direction. Yes. And so mm -hmm. we, have that, we have that advantage also. So the freight is yes. really what helps tip the scale. Scale, uh, size, um, yeah, and delivery. And delivery, yeah, that, that sharper lead time, That's certainly. Um, but, but can we get a sense of like, perhaps where a, a four-piece bedroom might be priced um, in relation, uh, just or, or a dining table and four chairs. Can we just get a rough retail we're, on what's your bread and butter we're, from the we're, factory? We're, that twelve ninety nine price point. Okay. That's where we'd like to be. Twelve ninety nine. Uh, so that's for four-piece bedroom? It, remember, we're trying to make it real furniture. Yes. Built-up chairs, large-scale dressers, yes. big heavy beefy tops yes something when the consumer walks in they have a recognizable silhouette to look at yes whereas if you brought it from asia you're gonna you're gonna have a kd chair because you would mm. never be able to put the scale of those chairs onto a container yeah and there is back 25 years ago we didn't have a kd chair mm -hmm. that's where we're at right now so you ship like two chairs per box always or? two yeah, chairs per box. box okay okay mm -hmm. very the good dining chairs dining we chairs dining chairs the, the accent the accent chairs and things like that very good um, and um, so like for maybe a dining table and four chairs what would be a bread and butter there could you give us a rough idea 12.99 oh same okay <laughs> but 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 the, the difference is scale finish the quality of the correct. finish solid and, and solid. Sol and solid wood correct so you can't get that at it you can't get that we know what solid wood we cover the solid wood category and i mean you're talking about probably 19.99 17.99 for correct. this similar there that's exactly it so uh -huh. but even so even you've even got a price advantage already not even factoring in the transportation issue that's correct wow the other important part is the natural of the wood. We yeah. don't have just a solid big piece of pine. Mm -hmm. We have in special finish in, in, in the assemble and also, uh, so you can see real, really natural wood. Yes, yes. And natural, natural finishes. Is, is there a challenge, any challenges in this area that you're facing in terms, what would you say your biggest challenge is right now in competing against Asia? Um, is there any that you can identify um, challenges that you could? Let me answer that. We have none. Okay. And, and, and I think it's for all the things we've talked about and seen here at the plant. We'll see that our, our viewers will see it on video as they watch this uh, segment. But what about labor? I mean, um, is, there, is there labor challenges in this area? Um, yeah. The real truth, I have workers that have with me th easy 30 years working. Oh, yeah. And uh, also, we have another another beautiful part of our, of, our, of our factory. My people that worked for me in the past, mm -hmm. they are now my subcontracts. We have mm -hmm. also 19 little factories that work also for us. Mm -hmm. And all these guys, they work in the past for me. I so they, I create my little factories. I see. They are my partners now. They're subcontractors or, or yeah, what? They refer to them as Michelador. Michelador, okay, okay. Yeah. So we, yes. So, so what, he, what Fernando is saying is basically the people that used to work for him or have worked in the past have now gone on mm -hmm. and created their own small little factory oh. with the assistance of Fernando. Okay. Wow. Okay. And, okay. So, and they continue to work hand in hand. I so see. that's why when you ask, do we have any challenges? We pretty much have addressed most of them. I see. I was just wondering about turnover in terms mm -hmm. of labor. With, with, um, with the, the labor also, like we have an excellent relation with the people. Another important part of the game we try always to be the best payers 
Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Also, last month, no, last week. Last week. Last week, we increased our, our, our salary 20%, 30%. Oh, yeah. wow. So we, we try to have our people nice. happy. That's nice. What is, um, what is a, a typical furniture production worker make per month or in, in Mexico? Like in this area or in Monterey? I mean, what, what is the, yeah, the, the, the pay, pesos per month? Is that, it, what's, and without telling, I'm not asking what you pay, it, but. It, it's difficult because 80% of my people, mm -hmm. in, in my case, they, they don't have a, a fixed salary, salary. salary. I see, they, I see. They have um, peace work. Peace work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And even what they do, they win. But I, when he refers to win, that's, he means they earn or the salary. So it's piecework driven, oh, or uh, most of it's piecework driven. Okay. Yeah, okay. Maybe seventy Where you don't want it piecework right driven is where accuracy of the artisanal work needs to be there. You want them to go at the pace that will make it look correct mm -hmm. each and every single mm -hmm. time. Okay. When we were in Guadalajara the other day, I saw a sign, mm -hmm. and it was a nice restaurant. And the sign outside said, "I have a picture. Of it, I'll give it to you." It said, "For three hundred dollars, you can feed a hundred people." Did That's we 30 get cents that? a person. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've ever eaten real Mexican food. It is delightful. Mm -hmm. And it's very cheap. The difference, yeah. it's people good, think good. that salary, because the salary is less than in USA, mm -hmm. the level of, le of life is less. And mm -hmm. that's not true. Not even no, I can no. say you, a home for a worker costs them $1,500. No, $1,500. Wow. One five oh oh oh. Wow. So it's really cheap. So yes. everybody in Mexico can have their They have a good life. Mm -hmm. they, they, yeah. The food, he told you, is excellent. And mm -hmm. the people, uh, but it's really, really cheap. Yeah. Really, really cheap. Very good. So the level of life not depends on of, of, of the salary. Yes, yes. When you compare our salaries with Asian salaries or American salaries, yeah. maybe you think that they, they, win, they, they live for nothing. And mm -hmm. that's not true. People no. have time. Has good 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 level of life. Good good. Uh, they they eat good. You yeah. can see them. Yes. They are not so tall than the American guys, but they are strong and they have good. good yes good, yes good indeed <laughs> indeed. And they, they look very productive here too. Yeah. Everybody and, and here seems very focused, very driven. Yeah, and everybody's friendly. Yeah, you yeah. can see with all my people wherever you go. Mm -hmm. they, they they also uh, speak with me and speak with all the people. Smile. It's yes. always they are smiling. Yes. They, we have a good, good uh, ambience, you say? Yeah, yes, good culture. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you would like us to know that I did not ask or that you would like to communicate? No. The only thing that we want to tell you is that we have passion for furniture. Yes. We love what we do. And for us, it's very, very important. Somebody says to me, when are you going to get retired? When I'm get dead, because I love what I'm doing. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Alex? Uh, it's I am new in this uh, industry. I have two years yes. because I, uh, I come to the automotive industry. Okay. In this industry, is increase, it's creative all day, mm -hmm. and it's a passion, passion mm -hmm. for, for this. For the product. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Hector? Um, most important, the narrow loop was we are different to, other, to the other furniture factories here in Puebla, mm -hmm. basically, mm -hmm. because we are, we like to create new finishes, new designs, new, mm -hmm. something new, not, not copy the, yes. whatever the, what they are doing or other. Glad that they copy to us. <laughs> we never copy to them. <laughs> right. yeah, good for you. It's a, it's a comment. Good and bad for you. Uh, <laughs> yes. Other factories <laughs> call inclusive some similar finishes to us, mm -hmm. but uh, they call uh, Nero white or Nero black. Oh, <laughs> they even use because we want to copy oh what we do. Yeah. And this get up is proud for us, no? Because yeah. they really yeah, know that we have good, good things. No? Yes. There's a lot of pride. Yeah. yeah. Tom. Well, our limitations are only our imagination here. Mm -hmm. We can do anything we mm -hmm. want to do. Mm -hmm. We put our mind to do it. Excellent. Very good. Well, thank you all again. This has been a pleasure visiting and spending time with you, you gentlemen. Tom, thank you. Thanks so much. All right, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, Hector, thank you. Alex and Fernando, thank you. Awesome. What we do yeah. is solid pine 
uh, furniture. Yes. That's our materials. Yes. And here's where we begin the most important part of a product. Okay. Is the way we assemble the wood. Very, very important for us because solid wood is a natural wood. It used to work a lot. So we need to have special detail on how we assemble it. You can see we assemble all the wood that we have to make panels with lengths in the middle to make it more stronger. Mm -hmm. So we don't have problems with cracking. Yes. So yeah. very good. What type of glue are they using here? Is water 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 based? Uh, water based glue. Water based yeah. oh, okay. It's the best for wood. That's it, yeah. We have so, three three different three different kinds of glue. Okay. For this assembly we use one. When we assemble the complete furniture, we had another one. And when we make the tops of the of the tables and whatever you would the line, we have another one. Now, it depends on the density and what we need to do that. And this is pine. And what is this? What, what is this? This is MDF. MDF it's okay. a length. This length, what it makes to us is that we, we, we increase the size of union in the wood and make it stronger stronger uh, yeah. when we assemble. Nice. So if the wood works, it will never uh, open oh, here. Yes, so yes. it's perfectly... Yes, very good. So Thank you. if you see over there, they, they uh, press it, uh -huh. press it and glue it. And when it's yeah. dry, they put it out. Let me show you. Okay. Here's where we begin. We, in our furniture, we have two steps. First is cutting. Yeah. Here to have all the machinery for cutting. Yeah. And when the, the, the whole piece is ready, like here, it's a complete set of some products. You can see all these lines. We, we cut everything. When everything's ready, we pass here. And then from here, okay. we have five lengths of assemble. Okay. So all what you see here, in, in few hours, it's going to be a complete piece produced. So we have five lengths of assemble. And each line makes one product. <laughs> Another important thing, this is very important for us. Like I told you, all the wood that we assemble, we need to be sure that it's going to be perfectly attached piece by piece. All the tops of our tables, before we assemble the wood, we press it with MDF in the bottom. So that's the top right there? Yeah, we press it to 400 kilos uh -huh. and, and, and let it dry for 40 minutes. Okay. So we are sure that this piece is not going to work, yeah. nothing when you have your furniture. Yes. Even the wood is totally clean and dry. No. Yeah, it's just an extra quality step. Yeah, we try to increase all our quality. Yeah. We, we, we try to have zero problems of cracking or moving of the wood. Now the problem is running over here. And you can see we continue with our steps. Wow, look at all these chairs. Yeah. Matt, that's a... I told, like I told you, we are producing in the moment 3,000 chairs per, per week. Why we have the product in, in, in that way is because we need to give to the, to, to, to the product one special time of dry. So each step needs to have a particular dry. I see. So we can do another step if it's if, if not completely, you, you can see here, it's still wet. Yes. So it's resting to, to, to pass to another step. You can see how they are going to the finish. Now, does this have a, a particular name, this collection? This collection, yeah, we call it the uh, Austin, Austin Line. Austin Line. Austin line. Okay. The, the, the dining Austin. Yeah. You can see the bench, the yeah. chair, and there's the, the yes, top of the yeah. table. When we, when we are at the end of the line, you can see a lot of little uh, uh, stickers. Yeah. They are checking, this girl is checking all the detail before it's completely finished. Okay. So the product is coming in the line. If you can see, we have a lot of consistency. Every product is equal in, in the tone, but the process is made by a lot of people. Yes. You have a minimum six colors or seven colors in just one piece. They detail it, and when it's perfect detail, they come here to rest. Like, like in, in this case, like here, we ever have a piece 
to be sure that we are going to be exactly in the tone that we have all, all our lines. Yes. Also, you can see over there, there's the people that is in the line of production, and each people is in charge of one of the process. Oh, okay. When I saw, show you the sticker, you see there are 14, 14 uh, steps. These 14 steps has one person that is in charge to be sure that we are doing it perfect. Uh, yeah. A lot of details. 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 Now details, you can yes. see the furniture finished. Oh, yeah. In Look this case, this. this is the this is the base of, of the of the of the of the table. Yeah. Like I told you, another oh, warehouse. Yeah, nice, nice. Here, nice. the painting, uh -huh. the iron, everything that they need, they need for this line. Okay. For us, and for a customer, it's very important the packaging. Yeah, that's we put a lot of time in the packaging. Yeah. So the product is not not going to be damaged. Yeah. So what is like a particular like a lead time, um, like from the order to the time you okay. ship? We try to uh, have uh, our what? product ready. When, when a customer uh, places the order, we try to have the product in three weeks. Three weeks. Three, three weeks. Three. And normally, we, we think that we will need one week for transportation. So what okay, we try okay. to do is that when we receive the order, maximum in one month, you have your product in your warehouse. Uh, to your door, yeah, right to your door. That's, I think it's very important. It's a big arm for us to be uh, on time. Yes. And with this time of production. One month is really good. Three we, weeks. we produce in three weeks, and we try to have one week Trans of, tra yeah. of transportation. Yes, yes. So this roughly four-week estimate, that's, correct. that's been consistent over the past? Has never failed. The past five years, would you say? If I, so yes. what happens is I give them enough notice mm -hmm. that they're, I said, in about two weeks, you're gonna need to ramp up to this, or you're gonna need to ramp up to this. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't sit on his hands. Yeah. He goes out and makes it happen. We try he to tells him and he figures out how to make that thing happen here. If we need to put by more buildings, more land, we just do we it. We grow with the demand. We got, the yeah. demand is growing, we grow at the same time. Where mm -hmm. others want to go buy someone, we want to buy ourselves. Okay? Make sense? Yes. Porter, we make Here's what I'm talking about. No one else does that but, but us. Oh yeah, nice! Wow, how much is that? I mean, that is that's so expensive. That's a quarter million dollars. Wow! As you can see in the box, Uber Road. Yes, so, yes. Also for us, it's very important the consistency yes. of the carton. It has yeah. special, special. Uh, how can I say detail of, of is, is, how strong is it so the box can uh, maintain completely square and complete, and the furniture is perfect when you have it with the yes, customer. Sir. Yeah, very good. This product is ready. We are send it to the other warehouse okay, for very painting. Good. I will show you the other warehouse. Okay. Here we have one line of of of, of uh, chairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. There. When it's finished, it's the, they're packaging. Nice. But let me show you. Oh, nice or the nice. Line. You can see that girl. Any, any product that we make before mm -hmm. we package. We check piece by piece and detail it. Mm -hmm. You can see that girl, she's detailing any problem that we have with the painting. Also with the fabric, another girl checks mm -hmm. that everything is 100% perfect. Mm -hmm. Here we begin. Okay. The farm. Yeah. How we prepare our chairs. That's the first step you have. This is the first step. Uh -huh. Then we come to our second step. Cutting and sluicing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Then we prepare the chair before. If you can see the people here, they make one, one particular movement mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. it's ready for, for fabric. Yeah. The chair begins to walk. Second step, the third step, we put in the, the form. Then we pass over here. So when the product is prepared, then mm. we begin to put the, the product. All dining chairs. Dining chairs. Yes. Okay. Our speciality. What's like that? I told, our speciality. Yes. We are, yes. We are producing 3,000 chairs per, yes, per week. Yes. We are going to be about 600 per day. 
But you can see also each each guy make one 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 at a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When it's completely finished, they go to that to that place and then it goes down. I see. For 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 detailing and packaging. So there are two two chair production lines. We have two chair production lines and we okay. try to produce about yeah. 600 chairs per day. Okay. How many finishing lines? Oof. Finish. Fin finishing lines. Like finish. uh, in, in the whole factory, yeah. one of those, three, four. In painting, six. Six, 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 six finishing. Six in painting and in, in, how was it? Uh, in two in, put in uh, fabric. Okay. I don't know so this is like whether to finish the actual fin six, six, six finish, finishing. Six finishing. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay. So there are three buildings. Um, how three many? buildings. Three buildings. Okay. We have three buildings and we have 700 employees. Okay. Each line uh, has a particular finish. In, in, yes. In, in, for a product. Okay. So we have six different lines. In in the same, in the same time, we are working with six different finishes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Very then good. they change they change the color. Each line minimum produce about three or four different finishes. Yeah. So they run one finish and then they begin with another one. But nice we have one. six different lines working at the same time. Okay. We have about in this moment about twenty thousand. Twenty thousand square, square meters. Okay. Okay. But in a, in April we will run our new facility with another five thousand square meters. Okay. In that five thousand square meters we will produce the poultry. Okay, okay. So anytime we develop something, mm -hmm. we'll bring it up here instead of being down there so we can have a quiet conversation. Like yeah. there's one of our pieces of upholstery. Yes. Yes. The wood now matches the That's beautiful. Tables, well, and it all yeah. shifts together. And you know, it's funny because Randy was showing this at Las Vegas and um, I just did a story on the merchandising of upholstery and occasional, but this is exactly what I was talking about in my story special report coming out at the end of February, but um, very cool. We all, I also meant the freight person uh -huh. is here. Okay. From the freight company. Mm -hmm. Wow. You're here? Yes. I mean, yes, we, that's... trucks are not late. Yes. You see in the morning. <laughs> you got a very good you control. You see all the trucks ready handles. for the loading of the day. Mm. And if you see how we assemble the wood, you have a lot of lines. And if mm -hmm. you can see, the lines grow. Mm -hmm. Oh, on, this on casters too here. Yeah. yeah. If you check here, you have a square here, and it continues here. Can you see it? So everything is designed complete. This, 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 this top match with the side. Can you see it? Yes, yes. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, now I see it. Very nice. On the other side too. Also, you can see it here. Wow. Mm -hmm. So in Asia, that would be book match veneer. Mm -hmm. Here, that is book match solid. So book match solid. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, it's great stuff. I mean, really nice. If you see this warehouse, we have, this is warehouse two. Here we have all the product that is going to be finished this week and next week. Yes. That's why we always are on time. Yes. Our yes. product is made. It's on schedule. Minimum one week before we finish it. Like you see another warehouse. They begin standing. They make any piece. Wow, this is look at this. Oh my god. Another time, two lines of, of production that go for 150 meters and then they go out. Is the same dresser that you see yeah. in the first, second, and third step. <clears throat> you can see here. Yes. This guy. Yeah. What he's doing there? Yes. What is that? Oh, this is a bed. That, 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 the headboard need to match perfect when they assemble it. Yes. So before they put in the finish line, they need to be sure that everything matches. Why? Because of, 
This, okay, this one. This, let me do this. Mm -hmm. Oh. So what happened? We can mix one leg with another one. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, this is like this is like engineering. When you, I mean. So <laughs> Alex, Alex has a degree in engineering. Paco, yeah. who works for me, has a degree in engineering. Yeah. He's got a degree in engineering. Yeah. It's engineering expertise, That's in other exactly words. That's exactly it. This is not high school woodshop. No, no, no. And and people, uh, let me tell you. I tried to hang a door myself one time, put the mm -hmm. door in it, and I measured it almost exactly, yeah, and I still, got it, I still got it wrong. <laughs> so this is, this is, it's not only a science, but it's an art. So we have three different uh, warehouses. In each one, we have two lines of finishing. Yeah, in each, yeah, And yeah. each line of finishing produces about one truck daily. Yeah, 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 okay. So we produce about six trucks per day. Yes. All right, Tom Russell Furniture today. We had a wonderful visit here at Nero Lupo in beautiful Puebla, Mexico. Thank you, gentlemen, Thanks for your you time know, and, and just spending your morning with us. So we appreciate it. Thank you. Sir. Great thank trip. You. Thank you, sir. All right, thanks. Thank you. All right, Tom. Wonderful. Thank you, Hector. Thank you. Thank you All right.